Welcome to the Canadian Beef Cattle Podcast, presented by the Beef Cattle Research Council. The most popular content from beefresearch.ca, available on the go. Before we get into this week's episode, a quick message from the BCRC. Cowbite's ration balancing software is available through the BCRC. This easy to use ration balancing software allows Canadian beef cattle producers to develop their own rations. Producers can input various combinations of feed and byproducts at different prices to reduce feed costs while meeting animal production targets. The software costs $60 and can be purchased now at beefresearch.ca slash cowbites. That's C-O-W-B-Y-T-E-S. Looking for more beef cattle content? Listen to the Cows on the Planet podcast for science-based information on beef, cattle, and their environmental impact. A list of all episodes can be found by clicking the link in the show notes. This episode is titled, Seven Tips for Grazing Corn. With winter rolling in across Canada, you may be turning to extended grazing to help keep cattle out on pasture longer. Grazing standing corn has many benefits, including being a high energy forage, but can also pose animal health risks if not managed properly. Here are some tips to help you successfully manage standing corn for grazing. Ease cattle into grazing corn. If this is the first time grazing corn, it may take some time for cattle to realize what they are supposed to do with the tall stalks. It is a good idea to slowly transition cattle from pasture to fall or winter corn grazing. Regardless of how familiar they are with grazing, the rumen takes time to adapt to the new feed source. One way to do this is to provide access to only a couple days worth of feed and also supply cattle with an alternative feed source such as a bale of hay to help them through the transition period. Limit cows to three to four days of feed. Inevitably, when the cows are turned out, they will eat the best, most palatable parts of the plant first which is the cob. If cows are allowed to access too much corn, there can be problems with rumen acidosis. Research conducted at the Western Beef Development Center in Saskatchewan suggests limiting cattle to three to four days worth of feed and providing a fiber source, low quality hay or straw, to help mitigate the risk of acidosis. Strip grazing using electric fence provides a more uniform nutrient intake, reducing the risk of acidosis caused by cattle only eating high energy cobs, and utilization per acre is improved. This also reduces trampling and wastage. Protect cattle from the elements. In years of heavy snowfall, cattle may have better access to standing corn compared to swath crops under snow. Observations have also shown standing corn providing protection from the wind during inclement weather. Cattle can graze through the winter as long as they have access to water or loose snow and shelter. Feed test, feed test, feed test. In most cases, corn exceeds the nutrient requirement of cattle in the first two trimesters of pregnancy, but it is still important to feed test to determine if the cow's requirements will be met by grazing corn alone or if additional supplementation, protein, should be provided. Testing corn for mycotoxins is also recommended. Since corn is grazed standing, it is recommended to do a feed and mycotoxin test a couple weeks before grazing so that it is a close representation of what the cattle will actually be grazing. Visit the BCRC's Feed Quality Testing and Analysis for Beef Cattle webpage for more information, which you can find the link for in the show notes. And you could read more about the Eastern Beef Producer's experience with corn grazing by checking out the Strategies for Fall and Winter Grazing Eastern Canadian Perspectives article by clicking the link in the show notes. Have a plan B. Even with the best plans in place, weather conditions such as too much snow, lack of frost, or even too much rain can put an end to corn grazing. Make sure you have an alternative winter feed in case you are forced to pull cows from the corn early. Thinking about next year? Plan ahead. Select an early maturing variety that will match the corn heat units, the CHU rating for your area to increase the chance of a high yielding, high quality corn crop. Planting an early maturing silage type corn variety for use in late season grazing has great potential since the productivity is very high and the taller plant allows cattle to harvest the stand when the snow gets deep. Plant for success. 
Choosing the right variety of corn is very important to ensure cattle don't experience grain overload or acidosis. You can also read the 10 corn planting tips, link is in the show notes, which includes an overview of site and variety selection, seeding equipment, weed control, and fertility. Grazing corn can be seeded with an air seeder, air drill, row planter, or conventional hoe drill. From Manitoba to British Columbia, the recommended seeding depth is 1.5 to 2 inches deep, preferably into moisture, at a soil temperature of at least 10 degrees Celsius. From Ontario to Prince Edward Island, the recommended seeding depth ranges from 1.5 to 3 inches deep. Row spacing of 30 inches is recommended. For more tips on grazing corn, plus an excellent overview of considerations when using extended grazing systems, view the BCRC webinar, Refining Corn Grazing Recommendations, by Dr. Bart Lardner. Highlights include understanding corn heat units, agronomics of growing corn, grazing management, and research results. You can find the link for that in the show notes as well. Before we finish this episode, here are two tips from Canadian producers. Number one. When using electric fence, rather than drill holes in frozen ground for posts, break the cobs off a corn stalk and slide a length of PVC pipe over the top of the stalk, tying a wire to that. And number two, strategically plan paddocks so the herd can graze from the inside of a field outward and use the corn as a natural windbreak. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. You can find all relevant links and information at beefresearch.ca or in the show notes. The Beef Cattle Research Council is funded by the Canadian Beef Cattle Checkoff and strives for excellence in the production of Canadian beef, cattle, and forage through research, innovation, and extension. Tune in every Tuesday as the Canadian Beef Cattle Podcast delivers straightforward insights, expert information, and a wealth of practical knowledge for Canadian beef producers. Subscribe now.